a 25% chance that you watching this video right now have zero money. Hey guys, it's Frank Anthony and today we're back again with another video. In today's video, I want to talk about why if you're a young man under the age of, I'd say 28, getting your money right should be your number one priority above everything else. If you guys are a fan of my content, make sure you go ahead and subscribe down below and leave a comment as well to let me know what you think of the video. So just how close are you to being broke? Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen videos of a guy walking down the street interviewing people asking them how much their shoes cost or how much their purse cost how much their shirt costs whatever it may be and a lot of the times the cost of these goods would be 200 bucks 150 bucks which is just crazy because then if you go ahead and ask a billionaire they spend like nothing on clothing mark zuckerberg has like 20 black t-shirts and that's all he really wears that's what he's known for wearing bill gates wears a 48 dollar watch he doesn't go in public with a roly he doesn't go in public with a rolex he wears a 48 dollar watch normal basic ass watch and see this is the trap that 99 percent of people fall into if you spend your money on short-term pleasures things that will only bring you happiness right now it's going to derail you from having the financial future that you want to have because you're never going to be able to save enough to invest your money and accumulate true wealth. If you don't have enough money, you, you can't travel the world. You, you'll be afraid of starting that business that you've always wanted to start. You won't have enough money for a down payment on a real estate property. But not only that, if you have the poverty mindset, that's going to distract you from ever achieving the kind of life that you always wanted to have from a financial point of view. So this is why I'm making this video so you can rewire your mind as a young man in order to really understand that your finances should be your number one priority right now. So my hope is that after this video, you guys will be motivated enough to go ahead and change your financial situation. So the first reason why money should be your top top priority right now is because you need to escape financial purgatory and financial purgatory is when you are stuck in the same place the same job the same amount in your savings account the same amount of income streams day in and day out for months on end years on end with no end and this is soul crushing there was a poll that interviewed people asking them if they felt stuck in their current work situations 75% of them responded saying yes, that they felt stuck. That's mind blowing to me, guys. 75% of people feel like they're stuck in life. Do you want to be one of those people? And so this is why you have to get your finances on point in order to escape financial purgatory because you don't want to live that kind of life. Another reason why you guys need to get your finances on point is so you can have the dream lifestyle that you want to have. We all want to be able to relax and retire one day, but the way things are headed with how inflated everything is in price, it is becoming more and more difficult for people to save for retirement. There was a study conducted that showed 25% of Americans don't have any money saved up for retirement. So there's a chance, a 25% chance that you watching this video right now have zero money saved up for retirement. That is terrifying. That means that if you continue on this path right now, for the rest of your life, you will have your happiness sucked out by a nine to five job because you'll never be able to retire. Or what happens if some emergency occurs to you or your family, you lose your job, how are you going to take care of that situation if you have no money saved up? Next reason why you need to get your finances on point is because money can buy happiness. People don't want to admit it, but money can definitely buy your happiness. There was a study that showed that up until around $100,000 per year, each dollar that you make additional can increase your happiness. So money can buy your happiness. So up until a certain point, making more money 
will improve your mood, which improves your mental health, which will improve your entire life overall, not just in the financial aspect. Next reason why you need to get your finances on point, it attracts wealth. Money attracts money, okay? Forget this whole money is the root of all evil. That's not true. Money is the root of all good. When you have money, you can contribute to charities. You can donate. You can give money to people. You can't give money away if you have none to give. And not only that, once you have money and you start accumulating true wealth, you start buying real estate properties or a diversified stock portfolio, that is something that's going to benefit your entire family and your future generations, your grandkids, your great grandkids. They're all going to benefit from that stemming just from you. And the best time to invest is right now, because especially right now, being in a recession, everything is on discount by 20, 30 percent. This is not financial advice, though. Next reason why you have to get your finances on point, improved quality of life. I don't want to start off by saying the obvious, but if you have more money, you can have nicer things and you can buy healthier food, especially organic or grass fed beef, free range chicken, free range eggs, all of these things that are great for your health and your energy levels. But the problem is that more and more people are living in poverty every single year. And this is going to get even worse as oil and cost of living keep going up, inflation keeps raising food prices, and we're not making enough money. But it's up to you to break this cycle if you're stuck in it. And unfortunately, if you don't take action soon to take control of your finances, you're going to be screwed. Last reason why you need to get your money on point is because as vain as it might sound, money improves your reputation and how you're perceived. People will respect you more if you have money. People will treat you better if you have money. Unfortunately, this bias does exist among humans, and so you have to be able to use that to your advantage. Now, I'm not saying to spend money on things you can't afford just to look rich, okay? But if you're smart with how people perceive you, then you can definitely use this to your advantage without spending a ton of money, which I do not recommend, by the way. Do not buy stuff just for the sake of looking cool, okay? Only buy things you actually want to buy without being influenced by other people. Do not buy things just to look rich, okay? Be smart. And so these are just some of the reasons why you guys need to take control of your finances and what happens if you don't. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this one and like this video. All right. See you guys till next time.